Good day, everyone. Welcome to Jamovi for Educational Research Tutorial Series, Episode 14, chi squared Test of Independence. What is chi squared Test of Independence? The chi squared Test of Independence, also known as Pearson's chi squared Test or the chi squared Test of Association, can be used to determine if a relationship exists between two or more categorical variables. The test produces a contingency table or a cross tabulation, which displays the cross grouping of the categorical variables. The chi squared test checks the null hypothesis that there is no association between two categorical variables. It compares the observed frequencies of the data. Here is our sample situation. Teacher RJ wants to know if students' academic motivation during the COVID-19 pandemic is associated with the type of parenting style. Using valid and reliable instruments, he was able to classify the parents of students as authoritative, neglectful, permissive, or authoritarian, while their academic motivation was classified as low, moderate, or high. And here are the tasks that we will go through in this tutorial. Perform the test, interpret the results, report the analysis. Once your data set has been successfully imported in the Jamovi software, you're now ready to perform the test. So make sure to keep your focus on the process. Let us now begin. Let me show you how it works by starting with a split frequency. So let's click Exploration and Descriptives. So we can put the type of parenting in the variables and it will be split by the academic motivation. So let's just remove everything that we don't need. Now it tells us that there are 162 cases in our data. We can also check the frequency table which will show us the summary of the responses, telling us how many cases are in each combination. Let's also have a bar plot. So in here, we can have a quick glance of the comparison among the levels of academic motivation in each type of home parenting. So we can see that some categories of extreme counts so what we want to find out is that, is there a statistical association between parenting styles and students' academic motivation? And we would be able to do that by conducting chi-squared tests of association or independence. Let's now click frequencies. And then this one. Let's put this into the rows. And this one into the columns can actually do that either way it now gives us the contingency table which is just similar to the frequency table that we had in the descriptives the numbers in the cell represent the observed counts and aside from these observed counts we can also get the expected counts all right it's very important since that's what the chi-square is comparing the observed variables to so now, these expected counts simply tell us what the counts would be for our sample data if the null hypothesis is true or in our case, if there were no association between the variables. You can manually get this by multiplying the row total to column total and then divide the product to the total sample size. But of course, you don't have to exert effort on doing that since it's just one click in Jamovi. We also have here the options for the test. The one that's already checked is just what we need. We also don't need this comparative measures since it's only applicable to 2x2 two two tables. So it means 2 rows, 2 columns, and what we have here is 4 rows and 3 columns. Let's now look at these options under nominal. So what's the difference between the two? The contingency coefficient is an adjusted 5 value and is only suggested for large contingency tables such as 5x5 five five tables or larger. So since our table is 4 by 3, we will click this phi and framers B. 
So these are like the effect size measurement for the chi square of independence. And this to differentiate pi coefficient is specifically used for 2 by 2 tables. And Kramer's B is for tables larger than 2 by 2. When it comes to interpretation of results, these are the parts that you have to pay attention to. So first, of course, we have the contingency table, where it shows both the observed and expected frequencies in each combination between two variables. But the most important in here is the result of the chi-square test, in which the p-value must be less than 0.05 for it to be significant. If so, the null hypothesis is rejected, meaning there is a statistical or there is an association between our variables. And if we will look at this table under nominal, like what I said, phi coefficient in Kramer's V are like the effect size, or it tells us the magnitude of the association. And as you can see, there's no value for the phi coefficient, since like what I said, it's used for two by two tables. So for the interpretation, let's look at this table. So since the value that we got in Kramer's V is 0.273, it falls into very strong association. This analysis report follows the APA format. Take note of the terms in blue font and the format of reporting values in red font. The study aims to determine if the level of academic motivation of students during the COVID-19 pandemic is related to the type of parenting. The result of chi square tests of independence revealed that there is a significant association between the level of academic motivation of students during the COVID-19 pandemic and the type of parenting represented by the given values. The computed Kramer's V was 0.273, indicating a very strong association. As shown in the contingency table, students who are experiencing an authoritative type of parenting are most likely to have high levels of academic motivation. And that ends this session. Thank you for watching Jamovi for educational research tutorial series. Stay tuned for the next episode. See you next time.